Hey y'all, it's Jennifer. <sighs> yes, I just got off the treadmill. I'm trying really hard to keep my momentum going. It's kind of discouraging when you weigh yourself too often. Um, I'm doing everything right. I'm eating 14 to 1500 calories a day and walking upwards of an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour a day on the treadmill. And today I got on the scale and I gained two pounds. But did I really gain two pounds? Did I really lose the two pounds in the first place? Does it really matter? Because according to my measurements, I lost three inches on my waist in just a few days. I don't know if that's right either. What can you believe? I don't know. Maybe how you feel. Maybe how your clothes fit. Um, maybe the fact that when I started on the treadmill, I could only do 10, maybe 15 minutes without my back killing me. The rest of my body was good, but my back was just aching like crazy. And, uh, I just got off the treadmill for about 27 minutes. And now that I think about it, my back didn't hurt at all. Um, so that's a victory, you know, non-scale victories, right? Woo -hoo. Um, this has helped quite a bit, um. Thanks, Jackie. Uh, my friend got me this Fitbit, and all she had been doing was using the Fitbit to count her steps. And in a rather short period of time, I'm not sure how long, but she's lost like 40, 50 pounds, and she looks terrific. Um, so I am a therapist, and so I have the most sedentary job that there is. And... Then I became a stay-at-home psychotherapist through the pandemic, and I put the Fitbit on, and I was shocked to realize how few steps I was actually walking, and it really explained why I gained so much weight through the pandemic, but it also explained why my body hurts so much when I tried to walk around. Um, I had hurt my foot at the end of 2019, and I realized, like, that even then that I was too big to have an injury like that and that I needed to do something about it. But I guess sometimes it takes me a while of heavy contemplation before I finally get myself motivated, which I'm really thankful that I am motivated right now. And I think one of the things that has really helped with that is the iFit trainers. Um, so I was just walking on the treadmill just looking at the empty, uh, it's just an oval track, you know, and so then I'm staring at the time, and I'm staring at the time, and I'm staring at the time, and I was kind of intimidated about using the iFit trainers because the video matches up the terrain, and so that incline or decline is what happens on the treadmill at the same time, and so I wasn't there yet, and so I had to walk on the boring track and doing nothing. Um, but now I've advanced to where I'm doing uh, a workout with the trainer, and I think that really helps because it switches it up, and it's doing things that I would just be constant. I would be afraid of the incline and not um, doing anything as far as changing it up. But they have... Um, you know, like different times where you're going faster or slower. And it, I think it really helps. I think it's really motivating to see the beautiful places that they're walking. I mean, I, I'm in a, I just finished walking the Grand Canyon, although I didn't do all of it. I did uh, six of 15 when I finally realized that doing the series was working really good. Um, and now I'm walking in Costa Rica. And this guy, John Peel, by the way, is just an awesome trainer. He isn't like a drill sergeant and he gives you just kind of interesting facts along the way about the uh, country that we're in. And, um, you know, sometimes he gives you a moment of silence. And when he does that, I think, yeah, shut up, you know, but really when he's talking, it's motivating you because there have been times that I wanted to quit and I'm listening to him and all of a sudden I find that I'm paying attention to what he's saying and it's motivated me to finish the, the workout. And I think that's really important because it's making me push myself in ways that 
maybe I, I wouldn't have done if it was just me by myself. Um, also, like yesterday, I finished up, the, or the day before, I finished up the um, Grand Canyon series, and so I had done three of the workouts in that one day. They were each 20 minutes. I did them all separately to try to work up to an hour. Um, and so that last 20 minutes, I was just not sure I was going to finish. But I really wanted the big reveal of the, you know, climbing to the rim of the um, Grand Canyon and getting to see that. And, you know, it's 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 a reward in your mind. And, and even though it, it seems like something just not that big of a deal, it becomes a huge deal if it motivates you even just for a few more seconds of walking. I mean, I love to see the views that they have. And then they do this thing where it's like the map. You know, you see like an aerial view of where you're walking and then it superimposes the um, the walk, the workout that you've actually done. And so that graphic seems to be motivating because it, it looks like a long way in the beginning and then through the workout about, you know, somewhere around halfway through, they'll show you. And I, every time I always feel like, oh, I'm... I'm further along on the walkout workout than I thought. Oh, awesome. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So um, it's motivating. So that's what's really important to me uh, is to keep the momentum and to keep keeping on till the break of dawn. <laughs> Shake your rump. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so uh, I'm really happy with that. I'm really proud of myself, even though it's been just a few weeks. Uh, that's how you build a habit, is after three weeks of doing something, it becomes commonplace in your life. And so I just want to continue this path and keep taking care of myself. I'm doing this for myself and my beautiful child, Angel. Um, I love them so much, and I want us to both be healthy, and I want to go and do things with them once this damn pandemic is over. So I want to be able to physically do those things that there was a day that I was kind of worried that that could be a problem. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Peace out.